but it's the 1st of October. I'm down on the River Avon at Saltford and I'm uh, feeder fishing. I've really beefed all my, my tackle up so that I've got a chance of any barbel or carp if I'm lucky enough to uh, hook one. Anyway, uh, boats have been going up and down. It's been a lovely day. I'm not anticipating a bite for a while. So um, I'll just show you some of the tackle that I'm using. I'm not fishing bait runner because it's a running line. And if it's fish too loose, they're just going to pick up the bait, swim off with it and then drop it. So the plan is to have the drag pretty tight actually, so that I get some sort of bolt effect on the rod tip. And I'm using one of these Corum hair rigs. They're three foot long. So it means that when the fish travel up, and I've got to bump into my line before picking the bait up. I'm using a two inch cube of luncheon meat as bait. It's got to be spam, low in the dark, rod rest. So I don't have to put my head torch on to find out where to lay my rod. Cheap bait runner, loaded with 15, diver, 15 pound diver sensor. It's the 22 inch Drennan specialist on a twist lock. So as you can see, it's not a huge amount of flow. So what I've done is chopped up a load of smaller pieces and I'm using this soaked down micro pellet so that I can squeeze it up into a ball. And it's like a cannonball. I squeeze that right up like that. And then that just helps carry the meat down to where I'm fishing. But if I threw that meat in loose, uh, it would just disperse everywhere. The water's quite clear, so I can't uh, imagine that there'll be much action until dark. The fishing spot's pretty tight. So I'm just using one rod. I was just talking to another couple of anglers, but they mentioned they'd been watching the YouTube videos. If you do watch these, um, if you could leave a comment, that'd be really appreciated. I've got a load of canopy over my head, so the casts are really tight. The Salford Shallows is, is touted by Bath and North East Somerset Council as a disabled friendly free angling spot. I went down there to meet a client on Tuesday, disabled uh, young man, but he couldn't fish because it was just wall to wall barges. They've also fenced off a wildlife area, um, which historically has been a, a good fishing spot. So I'm asking them to justify that as well. If you want contact details of who to write to, then um, have a look in the description of this video. Because over the last 10, 15 years that I've been teaching people to fish, I've just seen this insidious like, decline on the riverbank of spots where you can actually fish. Do I want to just sit and bugger all for an hour, two hours, three hours? Oh, yeah, fish on. <laughs> right, that's the timing. I've got some nasty snags to my left. Watch out. This is nothing big, but it's nice to get bent across. It's not too bad. Small fish. There's a chub. Dragging a pound. Plastic hair stops, not a fan of that myself. Uh, a little bit of uh, hawthorn, <laughs> tuck that in, I don't want any corners showing over. There we go, right next to the snag. Hmm. Well, the rod's gone hooping round. Uh, good old scrap. Uh, it's a fish I really didn't want to catch tonight. But, yeah. Lip hooked, that's good. It's actually quite a sizable eel. Easily a couple of pounds. It's the downside to lunch for me. Eels do love them. There we go. One eel. In the net. Right, here we go. One eel. Good one. <laughs> Just want to catch a decent chop. 